Hey guys, I'm here today to talk about shooting with the Polaroid close-up 600. I got this off of eBay probably like back in December. I browsed around for months trying to find one that was cheap, one that worked, um, one that was the older, one of the older models. I prefer the older models. I just think it means more. I know that Polaroid released um, some newer versions of this. Well, not this particular model, but I know they released some new cameras. Those are really cool, but I like the older stuff. So I'm just going to get right into it. Um, this is the camera. It's pretty bulky. Uh, you just open it right up. And you can hear high-pitched winding, and that's the flash charging. So you'll know the flash is charged with the green light. Um, so here, obviously, is the flash. Uh, this is the viewfinder. So this is where you'll see the image when you're shooting. This is the lens. Here we have the exposure meter. So. In darker area, you'll want to slide that way to get bring in more light. In lighter settings, you might want to slide it that way to darken it. And it really is up to you, like what you prefer. Um, I prefer darker images, so even if there's not as much light, I still tend to slide it to the darker side. Um, over here we have the focus, so when your images or when your subject is close up, you want to slide, and it'll place a plastic lens over, and that just helps focus closer subjects. And for further subjects over four feet away, you want to slide it back. So over here we have the exposure count um so you look inside and that tells you how many pictures you have left so there's a tricky thing about this the newer film packs they come with eight sorry eight pictures the older cameras assume you have 10 because the older film packs used to have 10 pictures so keep that in mind when you're shooting and you'll always have two less than what it says so keep that in mind so you're not missing shots. Um, so here obviously is the viewfinder. You stick your eye. Over here is where the action happens. You pull back this trigger to take a picture with a flash. And then there's a smaller trigger to take a picture without flash. I always use flash because I like the higher contrast. Um, it's just my personal preference. I just always use it. So, close that. Right here, this is what you slide open to load your film. So, you slide that open. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to ruin any film that I have in there. I have black and white film in there right now. But, you just pop it open and you'll see a slot and the slot if you open up your film package um i guess i could open this no i'm not gonna open it but you open this and there's a square package it's like foil it looks like a pop tart package you rip open that package and you'll get Something just fell off my wall. Um, you'll get a <laughs> you get a cartridge like this. So it won't look like this exactly because this is empty. So it'll have a black thing like that over it. You want to put it in with this side down. These are the batteries actually. So you just slide it in that side down with the tab at your fingers. So you just slide it in. Like so. 
and then when you close the door, your camera will eject the slide that protects the film from exposure. And then you're ready to go. And you just go out, you have fun with it. Don't worry about getting perfect pictures because you're not always gonna get perfect pictures. It takes a lot of practice. I'm still learning. I like to mess with the different settings. There's just so many factors that go into the settings. Um, if it's really, really cold out, you'll get a bluish and greenish tint. I found that if it's really hot out, you'll get a warmish tint. There's so many things that go into it, and it's just important not to suck the fun out of it by being a perfectionist. Don't worry about wasting film. I know they're expensive, but it's just, you should just take the picture. Just take the picture. You can always get more, eventually. Um, so I'm just gonna show some examples of my pictures. Um, showing I make mistakes. Everyone's gonna make mistakes. This is an example of overexposure. So I didn't mess with the exposure setting properly. And that's what happens. Here's a picture of my puppy when we first got her. She's not focused because I didn't slide the macro lens over. The background is focused, but she is not. I still like the picture. I'm going to keep all the pictures that I made mistakes with. Some people might hate them and want to throw them away, but I just urge you to not throw it away. You want to keep it and just look at it and just remind yourself how far you've come. If you're getting better, um, you could always use them for art. I've seen people use exacto knives and cut out the image and put a different image inside. I've seen people splice them up and sprawl them over a canvas. There's so many things you could do and just don't be wasteful. There's so many things you could do.